Hi, welcome to Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. And today I'm going to teach you how to bead a hat. It's a simple wrapped edge. We're gonna get into a little bit about the design process though with this tutorial. Um, what else? Oh, you're gonna to want to protect your finger. So this is a really thick cardboard on hats and you're gonna have a sore finger. You're gonna have a sore finger with a finger protectant and especially without. So definitely something to protect your finger to press the needle through. This is just a piece of like leather, like a scrap of leather that I had and then I taped it on just with regular tape. These hats look so cool on when they're beaded. This isn't finished, but come on, you gotta look good. <laughs> My ear, All right there. <laughs> so they look really cool on, this one's not done. See the top of the design, there's a center. You gotta account for this brim and then you gotta account for the underneath. Anyways, let's just get into the tutorial. I will go over supplies needed in the tutorial. Okay, let's do this. So supplies needed, first and most important, this is called a Glover needle. Let me see if I can get my light. Can you see when I spin that? It's got like that spear almost on the top. This is a heavy duty needle. It's really gonna press through that cardboard much easier than like a delicate beading needle. It's still not gonna be easy. So I like to pull it through the other side with a needle nose pliers. You're gonna need beads, obviously. I'm using size 11s. This is an all, this is an optional thing. Say you're having trouble still with the Glover needle or you don't have a Glover needle, you can use an all. I found this at, I think, Joanne Fabrics. An all is basically just like a giant needle and you can pre-poke a hole. I wouldn't do it all the way through. This would poke a huge hole and you don't need a huge hole. A lighter to singe down the thread. This thread is nylon thread, nylon thread melts. This is size D and this is a like a wax or a thread conditioner. So the most difficult thing about designing a hat is not the beadwork. The beadwork's the easy part, it's the design. And I could have done like a simple, like a solid color design and just showed you how to do a wrap edge, but I really wanna show you, start showing you the thought process beside behind designing. It's the hardest part. I figured out that there's 20 beads on this. I wish there was 21 so it could end in a single point, but you see this hat has like a guide. This line is the line I'm following. From this guide to this guide on the other side, that is 20 beads. So basically I figured out how many beads it would take to do this pattern where it looks like triangles on the top. When you're like straight on, it kind of looks like that and then you have to account for underneath the hat as well that took me like a couple of days <laughs> to figure out the design and get this pattern going and you're going to want to start in the center of the hat if you start on the side and go all the way around this side the design could become wonky and not symmetrical if you start in the center you can go this way even if you end on a half a triangle over here it's going to be a half a triangle over here and it'll be Symmetrical. I hope that makes sense. Let's just get it started. So starting with your guide on this side, underneath, I like to start underneath, get real close to that previous line you put down. Actually, if you're just starting, you just find the center, find the center of the hat, poke it up, pull it out with your needle nose pliers, and then just follow your pattern. Once you have your pattern set, you can basically bead on autopilot. So let's see, I was at three. Now I'm on four whites, three blues, three blacks. Four whites. The whites I'm beating just off the string because I have a lot of white in this hat. It's easier to not dump them. Four whites. Well, of course that didn't work. Let me trim this. All right, four whites. Three blues. One, two, three, and three blacks. I found it easier to, rather than counting all, trying to memorize all 21 or 20 beads in the design, I just do half. So that was half. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other half. So three blacks, three blues, four whites, three blacks. 
three blues. Come on, blue, there we go. And four whites. Did I not condition my thread before I did this? Use thread conditioner, it makes tangling happen a lot less. Oh, I forgot. So this um, hanging in the breeze thread here, all we do is we singe that down with a lighter. Okay. So nylon melt and wrap it around. That's all you do. Wrap, ed wrap edging is really simple. Okay, find right next to that one on the guide, come back up. Let's see here, let's try that again. A little bit farther, there we go. Take this, pull it through. I'm gonna just put one more line on and then I'm gonna show you how to start a new thread. You could live dangerously and <laughs> do a really really long thread so you don't have to do this that for me sounds like a lot of tangles <laughs> long threads equal more tangles in my life so i just start and stop threads you are gonna have um little knots like this you're gonna be able to see knots once in a while but they're pretty inconspicuous and you want to know what these are handmade items these aren't manufactured items, you know? You're not going to the store and buying this thing that was made on a machine. This was made by hand. So if you see a couple of knots, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so three, oh wait. What am, what, blah, 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 blah. I forgot what I was doing. So five, go back to my design. Let's see, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three and two blacks, okay. So that was half. Now, here we go again. One black, three blues, and three whites. Then I will show you how to end the thread. Is this making sense? If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave the question in the comments. If you're on Instagram, you can send me a private message as well. That's not right. What am I doing? That is right. I just need two more whites. Get it together. All right. Two more whites. Then wrap it around. Get it real close to that guide. And the previous line you put down. So since we're going to start a new thread, it doesn't have to be right close to that. Say, uh-oh, my thread's too short. It can be wherever. We're going to hide this old thread underneath the beadwork anyways. So you can poke it right down in the middle. I already did this once over here. So let's do a little bit farther out. Okay. And all you do is snip it. Close it up with a double knot. A single knot is not going to be as secure. Double knots, you're going to be able to see more on the back, but I would rather be able to see, why am I so shaky? Just chill on the caffeine for one day. <laughs> okay, I would, rather be, I would rather be able to see a knot than have my beadwork fall apart. You know what I'm saying? That's going to cover pretty nicely with the beads. And again, it's a handmade item. It's fine if you see a knot or two. Also, I wanna say something. When you're going around a corner, you don't need to do anything special. They will like spread out a tad on their own, but it's fine. It still looks really nice. They don't have to be exactly buttered up next to each other. It still looks nice. When you're done, when you get all the way to this edge, that same thing that I just did, a double knot, close it off, singe it, and you're done. This is a really simple project. I hope this was helpful. I feel like I'm forgetting something. If you have any questions, message me or comment 
below and I will see you guys next week for beadwork tutorial Tuesdays. Talk to you later.